I was not aware when I made my post, my declaration concerning an injunction upon, uh, where is it, uh, regarding 1 16th percent mineral returns to the state that the commander of Central Command to the United States Armed Forces was in Israel for the next few days. Let me just remind you that around this time last year, the governor of Texas was using the entirety of the people of Texas as collateral for deals concerning small business specific to the energy sector in Israel, right before heads of state from around the world gathered in Israel in order to address a commemoration of victims of the Holocaust while that same governor was on his way to Switzerland before the Davos conference. Now, I repudiated that act at the time and said he should have been removed from office and indicted. Twice since then, he has jumped the gun, so to speak, and undermined the federal government while setting his own people up for deals that he defaulted on and the rest of the state of Texas defaulted on, while well, right now their legislative priorities, at least as they allow them to be made public, are on challenging the helmsmanship of a criminal drug enterprise based on legalized marijuana as a substitute for any other kind of political process and considerations of legalized gambling. This has been happening all the while while they've refused to address their actual relationship with anti-Semitism and sexual exploitation of young people. I contend that SB 89 and the attendant laws concerning the boycott, divest, and sanctions movements regarding the nation of Israel are unconstitutional on a number of issues. I also contend that Israel knows this and it does everything it can to benefit itself while it engages in serious crimes against its own people. They are no ally of Texas. You understand? If you allow yourself to be sexually exploited and to be undermined while you pick select demographics within your own country so that you can give them different valuations and torment people that are competent political leadership but do not agree with normalization of organized crime, or allowing for narco cartelization to replace ordinary political process, you're no ally of my people. I do wish that there had been a different relationship between the federal military in the United States and these so-called civilian leaders that seem to do nothing more than draw down on the military resources in order to offset their liabilities. I would also appreciate it if you would make formal whatever it is you intended to do in the footsteps of the governor of Texas, by the way, not even the president of the United States. I consider that an affront. I also consider that a failure to actually address the profundity of the responsibility you had as a commander of the fighting forces of the United States of America that has left the people of this country vulnerable to infiltration, including at the highest levels.